Mahathir's foremost idiotic move was to resign. First time he resigned and after that Najib took over, sakau duit 1MDB semua and the country bled to almost death. Lepas tu dah managed to wrestle the power from BN, uh, the corrupt kleptocrats. Jadi Perdana Menteri, 22 bulan dia betray pasal benci sangat kat DAP. Bloody racist bigot. Uh, dan takut sangat Anwar jadi PM konon. So, engineer, a backdoor punya government. So, dah lah, dah backdoor punya government. After that, then after that is downhill lah for him. Try macam-macam. Habis. Because people give you a second chance. Uh, when you were the chief of the nemesis dulu, yang sakau duit negara, barisan nasional. Haa. Uh, then, orang bagi you jadi Perdana Menteri again, Pakatan Harapan. You could have gracefully stayed on two years. Lepas tu, hand over kat Anwar. Advise Anwar, stay in the camp. Be advisor to the government. Siapa pun takkan kacau and help the country recover. Tapi tak, you jatuhkan. Lepas tu, Muhyiddin take over. Jana Wibawa lah pebenda kita punya COVID, MCO, darurat, mengarut semua. Country further black. You juga punya tangan. Ha? Instead of coming back to make do, to make amends for what wrong you did for 60 over years. Ha? Tak, you still come back. Nak buat apa you nak buat juga. Ha? Do some more damage. Ha? Last sekali, sampai time, tight changes. Anwar Ibrahim jadi juga PM eventually. Nampak tak? The mirac miraculous hands of Allah. Ha? Install jadi PM and you are nowhere near. You duduk lompat parti, tukar-tukar-tukar parti. <laughs> Bersatu lah, pejuang lah, bermuafakat lah, puaka lah, macam-macam. <laughs> now, now you are nobody. Ha? Deposit pun hilang bertanding. Terus tak boleh bertanding dah. So, lah ni, all the worms comes out lah kan? Sekarang ni dah baru terkincit. Eh? Anak seorang-seorang dah kena, uh, kena 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 declare assets. And the minute they declare, then the next question will be where you got that from. Uh, dedikasi lah kan. So, lepas anak-anak semua dah kena declare asset. Lepas tu, bapa dia pula akan kena declare asset. Uh, Tun M akan menggeliat lah. <laughs> uh, then, sampai time. Get ready to also be charged lah macam Daim. Uh, Daim akan kena charge on Monday. So, you will also be charged. Uh, dah. Tak pasal-pasal. Gatal. Ni orang kata orang Kelantan gatal pelik. Faham tak? Uh, gatal. Buat benda bukan-bukan. Mulut tak tahu senyap. Banyak cekadak. Sekarang ni, when you're old, you should be enjoying your cucu, cicit, your legacy. Enjoy your life. Whatever money dah sakar boleh tak kacau orang. Orang tak pergi korek semua. Lah ni habis lah. Now, how you going to end your life? Even kalau you tak masuk jail pun, by the time you kick the bucket, uh, with all due respect lah, uh, what kind of life you going through now? The stress you have to go through, the humiliation you have to go through. Punya lah bodoh. Tak ke bodoh? Yeah, you could have retired so gracefully. Macam Lee Kuan Yew. Tak. You nak buat benda karut. Nak jadi champion kot tempat lain pula. Jadi racist pula. Non Malay memaki menyumpah you sampai bila. Melayu pun dah menyampah kat you dah. Oh my god. Punyalah sedih. Inilah orang Kelantan kata gatai pelai. But if you have any interesting ideas that can help build a better Malaysia, please put them in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, the subscription is free. You don't have to pay money. And we don't, you know, uh, YouTube doesn't give us your information. So there's no list of uh, subscribers. I just know the number of subscribers, but no information about who the subscribers are. And um, we are not monetized, so there's no advertisements. When you click on our videos, you straight away uh, watch our videos. You don't have to see annoying ads. Anyway, now please subscribe if you haven't done so, and please share our videos uh, far and wide. Terima kasih. Wassalam.
If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos.